Welcome to Dare. Is this just in students are not participating in Dare? Well, Bob, what exactly is Dare? Dare is for teachers to teach students to make safe and responsible decisions using the four steps. Well, Bob, what exactly are the four steps? Okay, the four steps are define, assess, respond, and evaluate. Oh, I get it. The four steps you are talking about is the decision making model. You are correct, so now let me tell you what they mean. Define is a um, problem, challenge, or opportunity. After that, assess is what is your choice. Oh, I know. I think I remember dare. I did it when I was a child. Rest is respond, and evaluate respond is to use the information, use the facts and information you have gathered. Now people know what dare is. Wait, before we end today's lesson, should we do the rap? Yeah, here's Ian and Josiah with the rap about dare. Hey, what's up? You wanna do a quick rap about dare? Yeah, let's do it. Ready? Ready. Dare decision making my mom. Dare decision making my mom. Define. Assess. Respond and evaluate. Assess all your choices. Peace out, yo. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for tuning into the Dan News Network. Keep it real. Now that is an example of risks and consequences. Some, some risks are positive and some are negative. You just saw a positive risk. Bella wasn't so sure about riding the griffin, but in the end, Bella loved it. That is where, where the consequence comes in. Like, the risks of, and consequences can be positive or negative. In this case, the risks, the risk and positive, so that, so that makes the consequence positive. Next, we're going to show you a video of, of a negative risk with, of course, a, a negative consequence. Shazam! Where are your shoes, citizen? At home! You know the rules. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Why aren't you wearing any shoes? Because it's casual Friday. Yeah! Well, I'm going to have to arrest you. What was the risk in this video? The girl went into the store without any shoes. What was the consequence? The girl got arrested and kicked out of the store. Remember, Remember make, make positive, positive choices. choices. Oh, hi there, citizens.
Once was a boy named Irvin. Irvin had a wonderful life until he experienced peer pressure. When I tired school from school, I know you want it. okay for him because he made the right decision. That is what we call peer pressure. Peer pressure can be good or bad. The good kind of peer pressure is, is when someone encourages you to try out for a sport. Bad peer pressure is like what just happened to little Urban. R remember, you experience peer pressure every day. So make the right decision and think before you act. Always, only be influenced by, by positive peer pressure and keep, keep it real. real. One day, a girl named Maddie was on the zip line minding her own business. Then a bully came up and pushed her down. What will happen next? Instead of standing around and watching, a bystander is someone who witnesses the bullying and does nothing. Let's see the situation go down. What is verbal and nonverbal communication? First, I want to talk about verbal communication. Verbal communication is when you use words to talk. Then, what is nonverbal communication? Nonverbal communication is when you use hand gestures or motion, but without talking, just like traits. Cool, now that I know about communication, I can tell it to my friends. If you're asking yourself why communication is so important, here's the answer. Communication is important because without communication, we will not be able to understand each other. Here's an example for if we did not have communication. How's the weather today? Bubblegum. I know I need to take a shower. Bananas are good for you. That was not effective communication. Here's, a, here's an example of effective communication. Hi, honey. How's your day at school? Fine. Can I go outside? Did you clean your room and finish your homework? Yes, Mom. I clean my room and finish my homework. Okay. Be back at 5. What time is it? 1 o'clock. That was an example of effective communication. It is very important to communicate clearly and effectively. You also need to be a good listener to understand the problem. I'm Shaziah. I'm Maria. And we're signing out for... D-N-N. Hi, my name is Sally Stress a lot. The meaning of stress is when you're in a very hard situation. Here's a stressful, here's a horrible stressful situation. Stressed out, relax. I can't, I have two 
close your eyes and open. Thanks, I feel much better. But I still have a lot of things to do. Don't worry, we'll find a way to get it done. That was a stressful situation. Yeah, that's very stressful. Could you give me a couple ideas on how to handle a stressful situation? Sure, one idea is to take a nap and chill out. Another idea is to, is to walk away from the situation. Another idea is to go outside and nap. And another idea is to maybe count to five. Thanks, those are very helpful ideas. Now next time you're in a stressful situation, remember Sally's stress a lot. Stay, Stay out of stress, kids. Today, we're going to talk about being a good citizen and helping others. Hey, that's a good citizen. A good citizen acts responsibly by helping someone who is in need. But they help others when they don't feel good. Yes, a good citizen follows the laws. A bully is not an example of a good citizen. Can you tell me why it's important to be a good citizen? So we don't get in jail because following the laws is important. How can we help others? If someone's being bullied, we can help them by stepping up and telling the teacher. We can also be helpful by helping our moms and clean our rooms. That is how we can help others and be a good citizen. Now be a good citizen!